it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes with my assistant MJ. Hi. And today we have a very special jewelry jar. This is a jewelry jar I got for my birthday from my wonderful family. And you can see already right here there's a piece of jewelry that's marked and we've looked at it. This is a piece of Dorlin. Um, there's some molded in place beads. There's some nice uh, acrylic beads on the top there. There's this kind of a clip. This, some interesting this... uh, items think... in the bottom, including some turtle beads. Mom will do it. Um, I'm really interested in this in this purple one that looks kind of space themed. Oh, interesting. And then there's something we saw here at, at pieces that join maybe a stretchy bracelet or a necklace because there's quite a few of them one two yeah maybe a necklace so um, and so what else some of the beads are different so i think one's a bracelet the other's a necklace ah you? okay so they've put they've they've taped the top over this beautiful acrylic necklace so we're gonna have to very carefully get in here so that we can get started and I hope that the tape comes off the beads fairly easily actually I have found that this tape um, if you wash it with hot water the glue comes off ah there we go oh this is interesting it's on a chain yeah. a good chain. here we go a little bit more a little bit more so we just we have beautiful sunshine here right now, but a good two hours ago, we had the fastest moving storm I've ever seen. Scared the living daylights out of me. Yeah, and, and a few of the trees in the backyard fell over. A couple of dead trees that we've had. They've been dead for at least 10, 20 years. But they've you know, been regular fixtures of, our, of the edge of the yard. Have fallen over, so we'll be doing firewood. There we go. This is huge. All right, it's I'm gonna beautiful. I'm gonna let MJ uh, untangle it, please. Can you kind of light on the table to untangle it? And I'll set the rest of this to the side and start to untangle some pieces. How's it going there? Here's a big knot in here. The only yeah. prob uh, problem, uh, the biggest problem Let's I see. find with jewelry jars is that a lot of the time, uh, often the necklaces and things get tangled. Okay, so what is this? What, two or three strands? I Pretty sure I can two, see from the top um, here there's three strands. Three. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. And I can see why they put that in the jar. It's kind of cool, though. It's heavy. It's three strands of these gorgeous reddish beads. I'm going to detangle that, and I'm going to give MJ a chance to start sewing some jewelry. Ooh. This is interesting. Uh, it's a... Speak up nice and loud. Let's see. This is a... Uh... It's very interesting. Okay, so, uh, yeah, there we go. You got to do it so that you can see it in the camera. There we are. Um, is it a belt Pull it down. or a knuckles or... I can't tell, tell what it is. Well, it's stretchy. And it's pretty long. Is it a belt? I think it would be a belt. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Does these nice, uh, I think it's... It's real metal, but it looks like metal, and it's kind of like scales, kind of. Neat. So then this here is a very nice gold pin. Um, it doesn't have any writing on it, so we don't know if it, uh, what company made it. Uh, good shape. The, is the pearl yeah. scratched at all? Uh, I think Try to look 
at it in the it's in the camera. Scratched a little. Ah. It still looks really pretty. Okay. All right. Well, how about you move on there? I've got. I'm still. On, you can grab any of those things there that are on the table. I'm still untangling mm -hmm. this other big thing. Next, we have this uh, necklace. Let's see. Multiple strands. Let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five strands. Because this is clasp. This clasp is pretty neat. It's like kind of like the shape of a um. Why isn't it? like a clam? Ham shell. Oh, probably open the clam shell. And then the pendant here looks kind of like a uh, like a little ba bag or something with yeah. a bunch of what I thought was rhinestones, but places that there could. Oh, it never mind. So the one side has a bunch of yellow rhinestones. The other side looks like it also had rhinestones, but they're missing. Ah, that's interesting. So I that wonder could be if something it's, to fix. Is it something to fix, or that's just the way or it was maybe, made? Or maybe, maybe it's the design. Okay. If that's so, have you lady? Let's lay it on the table so people can see the whole thing. There we go. Yeah. There we are. So that's the. There's the rhinestone side. That's very different. I I thought this was a bracelet when I first saw it. But then I realized it's part of this uh, as well. Now, you could probably take it apart, take this apart, and slide that off if you didn't like that on there. But it's an interesting combination. Now, um, uh, let's look at these beads. They are three big strands. They are still very tangled, but you can get an idea. So here's one end. And I start like going like this and like this and like this and like this. And then there's another big tangle and another big tangle and another big tangle. Another big tangle. All the way down to this end. So many big tangles. It's um, very long. Let's see. 36 inches, I would I would estimate. And then there is a tag here. And I'll have to look up this name. I don't know if I can get it to focus. Okay, you put your hand behind and I'll try to get it to focus better. Oh, it doesn't want to focus today. There we go. To less, T-U-L-E-S-T-E. -E. So it sounds like a possible French name. Okay, so that's a big heavy piece. And all these beads are on this chain, so interesting. Here's a, go ahead. So here's our next piece. It's really, it's a, uh, oh, wait, what did it be? Um, I think those are what are called fiber optic beads. We used to have uh, beads that which sort of shine like that, but they were cat's eye because there would be one single line. But I've recently I've seen them being calling this sort of shininess fiber optic. So if you put it out there, it's uh, about 18 inches, a little bit longer actually because it's longer than my hand. So nine inches each side and mm -hmm. uh, little chips. And what kind of a clasp does it have? Uh, oh. A barrel clasp. Yeah, it's like a barrel clasp. Oh, it is a barrel clasp. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a barrel clasp. Yeah. Good. Um, yeah. So just here you go. Thing. Here I'm still untangling things, so I'll let you keep going. And then here's a nice pretty pin. That's um friendly plastic. That's a type of plastic that melts in hot water and can be then molded and shaped so that's probably a handmade pin 
very artistically done. Yeah. And then there's the pin back. It has some. It, the, the, it, um, on the back, it's mostly black, but then there's a few like when a few spots of color. Well, and that's because the this um this plastic, that bluey plastic in there, has the black back, and all the other plastics that were used, like the gold and the this shiny one here, have black backs. So it's very lightweight. Very it would be very interesting to wear on yeah. something. Yeah. Hey, here's another necklace. There's lots of necklaces coming out of here. And then also here's another necklace. Uh, so um, the chain is just like a plain chain, no beads on it or anything. It's just a plain silver chain. Uh, then here's the, no, I don't think this type is a lobster clasp, uh, That's a spring ring clasp. It's a spring ring clasp, similar to a lobster clasp, but just a different shape. Yeah. And I also find it how, how to, t how to, to use. Oh, wow. And then, um, for the pendant, it's like this pretty simple design. Right. Yeah, with like those look like those look like leaves around the edges, alternating shapes. Right. Yeah. Very so good. alternating rotations, and then it's not marked. So yeah, really pretty necklace. Okay, so you remember these? We saw them in the jar, and we thought. There were so many that maybe they connected. Let's get it to focus. That they connected? We thought they connected into a necklace. There we go. But they are... Three matching bracelets. Three. Not quite. Not quite. quite two not quite. match and one is slightly different. Actually, but a nice... the two that match are slightly different colors. Are they? One's dark. Yeah, one's, one's dark. darker than the other. other. So those are three stretchy bracelets and they've got great stretch left into them. We have the pretty uh, necklace that I had thought that I would be really interested in. It has some big, um, very cool, like shiny, multi colored beads. Uh, I think it's too short to be a necklace, though, so I think it's a bracelet. Well, it's unusual, isn't it? Like, if we look at it, it's more like a choker. Like, it's maybe for a young person. But this is what I find very interesting. Look, it's got this loop. Yeah. It's like there's something supposed to go on there. Or maybe you, you could. could put something I don't know. On it. I guess you could. I don't know. But it's got some very pretty beads. Yes. They're beautiful. So if you have any idea how what this might be used for, this is a little piece of leather, um, let us know, because that's something I don't know. Next, we have these golden leaf earrings. Three, three gold leaves on each. Six leaves in total. Uh, when I saw them in, yeah, so, yeah, three, three leaves on each. Um, when I saw them in the jar, I, a jar, it looked like they might be, um, a necklace or a bracelet or something. Yeah, never really guessed they would be earrings. Okay, yeah, they're really pretty, uh, let's see not marked so we don't know what they were made by but yeah they would they'd be, be some nice earrings to wear in the fall mm -hmm. yeah. now here's something just perfect for you to show thought you'd get a big laugh out of that <laughs> two matching Pink necklaces, one green, one gold. 
Now, do you, I have no idea if those are for the Chinese Year of the Pig, if there are some significance for Mardi Gras. If anybody knows, please tell us in the comments. Oh, and then uh, on, on the bottom of the pigs, there's these little metal loop things, and so that, so that something could hang off of, maybe. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that, that would be interesting. Yeah, and the bell. <laughs> okay, so this is what we saw from the outside of the jar, and right here at the bottom is where it says... Dorlin, right? Let's see if we can zoom in and get it to focus. No, oh, there we there go. go. Dorlin. And I'll put some information up about that company. So here's the pendant in its, the front of it, sorry, in its reality, I was going to say. This is gorgeous, isn't it? But it's the size of my hand, practically. Certainly it's longer than, it's got to be at least four inches. And then um, it is a a clasp that can be opened and then it has this very heavy chain here's the connector uh, what type of clasp is that? that's this is a fold over clasp this part lifts up so it goes in through and folds over so um, I would say a good let's see if I get it all in the camera oh it has to be a 36 inch length um on the chain but this is absolutely beautiful i collect dorlin pieces because they were made in canada so that's amazing Now, what else have we got? I'm going to give you some bracelets. To, there's a whole bunch of different ones. Why don't you maybe start with that one because it matches, I think, the others. Oh, so yeah. Here is another uh, bracelet that matches these ones. So uh, then these two go together and then and these two go together. Oh, and I see one silver and one gold. Yeah, for yeah, each pair. For each pair, yeah, one silver and one gold. Pretty cool. Really neat. Alrighty. Let's put them back there so we can see them. And now what have you got? And now we have this uh, nice beaded um, memory wire kids bracelet. Do you think it's kids? It's pretty big. It could well, be adult, I'm a kid. And, I'm a kid, and it fits on me. Well, that's true. Okay, but you're, you're. Um, I think it's also big enough Please. an adult could probably wear it. Yeah. And and then let's see. on this end. There's a little loop that you mm -hmm. can put something on if you want. Yeah, it's true. Very good. Uh, yeah, so put that aside here When some I was more. younger, I would make some similar, uh, some similar bracelets. That's just there would be something on each end, and the beads were slightly different. They were transparent and bigger. Ah. So then the next thing here is this nice, pretty white and gold bracelet. Stretchy. Mm -hmm. I, I think there's a bunch of those. Why don't you put them all I on? I don't think this would fit fit an adult. Oh, that's interesting. Keep going. And then there's also this one that that it kind of matches it with it, but not matches it. Nice and stretchy bracelet. Uh, white beads with yeah plastic beads. White beads with then the these uh, crystal looking plastic beads and then there's these hearts with rhinestones on them uh, then it's a uh, diamond this uh, 
metal looking plastic cube but then a little pretty little uh, plastic charm that looks like metal with a rhinestone in it very good and then then we have uh, this bracelet stretchy and it's like square rhinestone holders with uh, like a rosy no not rose it's a, a pink ish <sighs> amber maybe yeah it's kind of hard yeah, to tell amber, isn't it uh rhinestones really Good. pretty and then we have uh, this pretty bracelet uh plastic gold colored beads stretch nice and stretchy uh with this little whitish off-white rose charm nice yeah and then it this this little thingy like circle thing on the bottom don't know what's that for but that's why i mean yeah i might figure out later and then uh next we have this um pretty bracelet yeah it has a gold plastic gold colored bead, bead and then some plastic off-right beads similar similar uh, color to the uh rose here just a little more of a lighter pink than mm -hmm. a, a and it really pretty yeah. and then this one is uh similar to the last one just instead of the uh pink beads it's pearls with the one gold plastic gold bead on it very it's, nice so it's, it's quite pearls. a collection so you um, so right and then most of the pearls are round but then the one bead there is uh slightly different shaped yeah well it's probably just miss miss misshapen yeah, it's misshapen so that's quite the collection if you want to we could wear them all together yeah quite a collection so i found it. this interesting necklace this is a beautiful red these are glass <laughs> see here they're glass beads. I and thought they were a uh, uh, thick. You would think they were plastic, but when you feel how cold they are, and you can see that they're on a wire, and they're, it's nicely put together with these little um, nice crimp covers, lobster claw clasp. Um, not too short. Put this back. Let's see. So probably just 18 inches, um, uh, but a very wearable necklace. Nice bright colors. All right. So. Then our next piece is this pretty, is this really pretty necklace and and a matching sequin pair of earrings. So the necklace is plastic, but it's made to look like shells. It's on a nice. Uh, I think that it's a silver with a bit. No, of I think gold. it's supposed to be gold tone. Yeah, because these are gold, so I think it's yeah. about to be gold. Okay. So it might be yeah. some wear on it. Yeah, gold chain. And, and little metal chain. discs with rhinestones. Yeah. And it's very nice that and it has then, the pair of matching earrings. So there's a whole set there. And the matching earrings are on, again, in the big, big plastic, plastic, oh, shell, owl looking, thing, uh, beads and then there's a miniature version above them then again with the the metal disc with filled with rhinestones mm -hmm. very nice set sadly not clip on earrings i can't wear them oh dear okay so here's a, a couple more bracelets why don't you show that or a few more bracelets you you start with that one that one that one's sad okay. What do you mean it's sad? Well, put it in the camera. People know what I will know why I'm saying it's sad. It's sad because it's 
all stretched out and broken. Oh. Yeah. It's pretty colors and everything, but. Yeah, it's, yeah, it used to have stretch, but it doesn't anymore. Well, that'd be good parts to repurpose. Let's see, we've got one big ceramic bead. We got one this. One big flower. A flower polymer bead. These are, bead. these are acrylic beads. The rest of them are all acrylic. I don't, these metal ones, well, they, they might be plastic. It's hard to tell. But lots of to, beads to reuse. Good. What's next in terms of the, the bracelets? Next, we have this pretty bead. Ah! Oh no! Oh, that one's sad. I guess the those are nice beads that we can save. It had a tiny bit of stretch. I accidentally stretched it too much. Oh dear. Okay. Well, you keep going on, and I'll find a bag for the. I'll find a bag for the beads, and you. It was a pretty bracelet. Oh, it could nice. be it could be a pretty bracelet again. Here's a bag. Nice plastic and nice uh, crystalish looking plastic beads. Yeah, we'll just stick it all together. They or do they feel like plastic or glass? I think they're plastic. Plastic, okay. definitely plastic. Good thing to repair now that it's broken. Oh well. Better to have it happen in the jewelry jar video than to happen when you put it on your wrist. Yeah. Okay, so just be a little more delicate, I guess, with the next ones. So next we have this nice, nice bracelet. It's a bunch of round blue beads. Nice and stretchy. Oh, I wouldn't stretch it that much if I were you. Don't worry. Good. Uh, and what's yeah, next? And some of the some of the beads have like a darker and mm -hmm. darker bit. I think they're meant. Whoops! Yeah. I think they are because they have those lines on them like that. How come we can't get it to focus? There we go. I think they're meant to imitate turquoise. That's what. But they're not really turquoise. And then next we have the turtles. Mom would love this. It has some really nice, so it's really nice. It has this one white turtle uh, bead, and then it has blue, green, orange, and yellow turtles. It's plastic, I think. I think it's some kind of plastic or yeah. composite. It might be composite, what they call composite stone, where they mix stone dust and plastic, but they do, okay. you're right, they feel like plastic. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know what this is. What do you think this is? Look at it, beautiful, sparkly rhinestone, glass rhinestone. It's pretty heavy. It's on a po uh, polyester cord, Wait. and it's got a, a bead a clasp. and loop clasp. So really pretty. It's really yeah. I got it up here in the camera. Depending. Oh, I guess it's eighteen inches. It would be a necklace. The it looks pendant, so short. Yeah, the pendant is like. So metal, and then it has, uh, I think that's a really big rhinestone, and then a bunch of a little rhinestones. Mm -hmm. And then Good. underneath. Yeah, and I thought maybe it was a purse dangle or something. So then there's the this. Bag. It's hard to show him on the camera, but there we go. It's Smiling Buddha, made out of glass. So uh, frosted glass on the front and, and shiny glass on the back. And then this uh, uh, necklace of these beautiful frosted glass beads and then finished with this uh, what may or may not be a slidable adjustable I don't know I don't want to stretch it too much because it's a very very fine cord for the weight of the glass beads but uh, beautiful Again, 18, really nice. 16, maybe 32 inches. Really so nice. I've never seen one of those before. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Now this, some, this is something that uh, MJ spent a little bit of time shining up these beads. Um, and you can see how down there how black they were. So I'm not sure if those are silver or not. But a beautiful pendant. Um, great shiny pendant. Um, and then a couple of plastic beads and then a gold chain that has been well worn has a nice clasp but on a lobster style claw clasp I think the best part of this is actually the pendant 
And then we have, and then we can use this to test if it's silver. We have a, a silver test kit we can use yeah. to see if anything is silver. And we're going to use else. this later on because this is a light little fine necklace. Almost looks like aluminum, but it is marked here on the clasp. Might be silver. Um, I'm going to try to expand it in so we can see it says... 925 over there on the side and Italy on the and other side. on the other side says Italy and upside down 925 so that's something we'll test later so just a little short uh, chain again maybe 16 inches in more necklaces, we have this lovely little dragonfly pendant Ooh, on a ball chain and uh, with a lot with lobster claw clasp and a long uh, extender. Doesn't, but uh, again, probably 18 inches, but a very pretty little dragonfly. Yes, nice rhinestones to make the body. And other Here's an arrow necklace, A E R O, and it says on the other reverse of the tag. 1987 so we'll have to look that up and see if i can give you any information there's a lobster claw clasp and a two inch extender gold tone comes down to a, a faux pearl a flower and a little uh, rhinestone drop mm -hmm. so it's a pretty little nice little sort of casual everyday necklace Um, then there's this. This is a, a piece of uh, it's a piece of plastic. It says Ilsa Catalina, so for Catalina Island, probably just a tourist bracelet. Um, 